right, so today we're going to do a pod review on the pepper that's right up there. We're going to take up this ladder, try to get a better look at it. And this is called the Mini Red. Don't know much about it. This is from a seed trade that I got from somebody several years ago. I decided to regrow it and see what comes out of it. And as you can see, we got Mini Red Bullet Type Peppers. And the plant is absolutely loaded with them. If you can see that all the way up there, there's a whole bunch. And we're going to be getting those down, but later on this year, because i got to basically break the whole top of the plant off because it grew through this whole thing. And this is going to be a nightmare getting that out of there. And so we are going to do a pod review on it today. And I did pick one already. I'm just looking to see if I got any rumbioidiums. No rumbioidiums right now because the rumbioidiums are a pleasure to eat and so what we got right here is one of the mini reds and as you can see they separate from the calyx very easily very similar to a tabasco pepper i do not know how hot this is i don't remember i do think there is some kind of heat associated with this but I don't remember. It's been years since I grew this thing. And uh, it's not a Tabasco pepper. And it's not any kind of wild pepper. At least I don't think it is. These generally grow in clusters that look like what you see here. But they're not uprights. They are pendants. So they actually hang down like a pendant. And that's just how they grow. So at first, when I first got them, I thought they were wild type variety of pepper but usually wild variety variety of peppers are usually uprights and not pendants so i'm not sure what's going on with this one but that's what it is that is the mini red all right so we'll turn you around and give that little nasty one a go all right guys we're doing another pod review today it's going to be on this little pepper right here and this is called the mini red and I got a feeling this one's going to be as nasty and hot as you can probably imagine a Tabasco pepper would be. And I hate doing pod reviews on the Tabasco variety of peppers because, man, those things are absolutely cooking hot. And uh, they're hard to eat, those things, Tabasco peppers. Eat them raw. They're just the type of heat that it is. The Tabasco peppers are a capsaicin frutescence. And the type of heat that comes off that variety of plant is very different in heat. It's a lot harder to handle for me than a Chianti. Even scorpions are easier to do than some of these Tabasco peppers. They're just, the heat from those things are absolutely destructive. I, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's a Chianti or an Anum or a Bacatum or a Frutescence. I honestly don't know what it is. I just got the seeds and it was called a Mini Red. That's it. And it's a, it's a type of pepper that hangs down and that's all I know from it. I don't know anything else about it. I think it came from South America because I trade a lot of seeds with people from Bolivia and uh, Brazil and Peru, Ecuador, Chile, from mostly those countries, even Paraguay even. And I do trade seeds with people from down there. So I don't know what to tell you as far as what this is. So without any further ado, let's give it a go. Watery. Oh, sweet. Wow, that thing was really sweet, and it, as soon as I put it in my mouth, it just turned to liquid, literally. It was probably already liquid inside the pepper, but it just it's very similar to like a Tabasco pepper. As far as like eating Tabasco peppers, Tabasco peppers is generally skin and gooey juice in the middle with seeds. That's what it is, and as soon as you put it in your mouth, it's like a sea cucumber. It expels everything from the inside of it out. So it's pretty much like that. But the flavor was really, really sweet on it for a little pepper like that. Uh, the texture, again, was very much like a Tabasco pepper. It's very soft on the inside with seeds. So as soon as you bite it, all the insides squish right out of one end of it. And you're chewing that up. And um, it wasn't bad. It does seem like there's a little bit of heat on it, but not bad at all. Definitely nothing to to uh you know go crazy about there is some heat on it it's very low if i was to put a number on it i'd probably say the heat would probably be somewhere around between two and five hundred on the heat not very much 
Uh, the sweetness was very sweet. It was extraordinarily sweet for a pepper. So it was like eating a instant sweet type of relish. That's kind of what it reminded me of, like a sweet relish. Full of seeds, had a lot of seeds in it, and uh, just kind of melted into my mouth. I did spit the skin part of it out because, I, you know, I got it. I can't talk trying to chew that thing up. So, in my opinion, what would you possibly use this pepper for? It would probably really be really good for sauces. Because the insides already like Tabasco sauce. The reason why Tabasco sauces were so popular is because those peppers, once they ripen, you, all you do is you squeeze the end of it and the whole inside squirts out and is the skin. You could just take that skin and dry that separately and the whole innards come out of it like a pimple, you know. You squeeze it, the whole inside comes out. And then uh, you just keep doing that all day long, and then eventually you get enough of it, you can blend it and then turn it and ferment it and turn it into a good sauce. Uh, this was very much the same way. You can just squeeze it once they ripen, you squeeze them, the whole insides will come out. You can fry the skin separately and turn that into a powder. And then the inside part of it, you can blend that up and turn that into a, a sauce. That's just generally how you handle those things. Now, some people will just take the whole Tabasco peppers, and they'll just grind the whole thing up in the blender and then just make sauce out of it that way. You could do that if you want. But the traditional way to do it is to uh, squeeze them out and then separate them. And then take the part that you squeeze out, mix a little water with that, and then you ferment that. And you turn it into a natural type of uh, hot sauce. And then the skins you would dry. And once they're dry, you can crumble them up or you can add them back in, uh, whatever you want to do. So that's how it's done. Maybe one day I'll do a video on how to make Tabasco sauce or hot pepper sauces in, in a fermentation way. I have done that before and it does come out pretty good. But if you don't do it right, it, it can get moldy on you and get quite nasty. So you got to know what you're doing when you're doing that because there is going to be a layer of mold that forms on the top and you got to know how to scoop that off without contaminating the lower parts so it doesn't become anaerobic and you don't want it to become anaerobic because that's where botulism lives all right so i think that's about it um again the flavor was nice um it comes and goes really quick low heat not much more to say about it that's the pod review for the mini red don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one